was, for those who didn't watch it or didn't see my part, because apparently it didn't air everywhere, they'll play Avril Lavigne in every city, but cut Ingrid Michaelson for the commercial, sure. Oh, yeah. And I made a big deal, like, everybody watch me! Like, on um, MySpace, MySpace, in, in <laughs> but on, like, Facebook and all that stuff. And be like, I didn't see you. And um, that was very upsetting to me. Very upsetting. No, it was fine. I'm fine. I'm over it. Whatever. Anyway, the song I'm going to play is a song that I lip synced. Sang song. <laughs> okay. On the parade. Sing it, girl! Sing it. Let me just tell you, though. I feel the need to tell you that it wasn't my choice. If given the choice to lip sync or not, I would choose not because I like to sing. That's what I like to do. But, too many technical difficulties, too many things go wrong. And they were like, this is what, would you like to be part of the break? Yes. Okay, you have to lip sync. Oh shit. So, oh god. Hey, I'm a Care Bear. Snap. Snap. So, um, so I did this, I, I, I practiced this one part of my song, it was only a minute and a half, and I practiced all the breaths, and I got everything right, and I was just so nervous that I was going to mess it up and sing the wrong word, and how awful is that? It's like your own, you can't even get your own song right, but I was so nervous, there was millions of people watching, so I've never lip synced before, so I was like, this is just gonna be, I'm gonna mess this up somehow. So, the whole float, I get on the float, which is ridiculous in its own right, I'm on like a, it's like a civil, civil servant of New York City, so it's like, <laughs> care, not care, what's wrong with care bears? I don't care on the brain. I guess I'm okay. I wish for a companion in this life. He's got a big pain. He's got a big bang and it's fuzzy. And I come far if there's a rainbow shooting right out of his foot. Oh, maybe he's blue. But he's still gonna be fuzzy. And maybe there's a shamrock on his tummy sound. because they have to hear me tell the story every night. But I just add things, like the care bird thing, that was just, we didn't really practice that. Imagine that was on Grey's Anatomy, they like some of the audience so like, we know that song. Dr. Shepard, she's dying! <laughs> because you weren't allowed to have anybody else on the float with you. Very, very strict over there. Happy Thanksgiving. You know? <laughs> so finally we get to the place where they're filming me, and they're like, look over here's your fake mic, and smile, and you know, and I'm like doing it, and my music starts, I'm like, okay, and I'll get the kid fireman, he's like going up and down, his little ladder, there's like a little button he presses, and he goes like from here to here, to here to here, and he's very impressed with it. And I'm singing, and I'm faking it, and I'm like, all right, because I have the mic like in front of my face, I'm like, maybe they can't even see my mouth, like, because it's a big puffy ball at the end of it, uh, uh, that's what she said, I can't say. That's not strange. So, I'm singing, and, and I'm almost done, and I'm like, okay, I totally got this, this is done. 
I'm gonna get off and I know what, I really think I did this well. And um, the, the night before at the dress rehearsal, this stage man guy came up to me and he's like, you know, I have to give you a little piece of advice. The stage, uh, the flow is gonna like lurch really like over fast before you're done singing. And if you're not bracing yourself, you're probably gonna fall over. <laughs> It was like it was like a little choo choo on the track. It's like and it left my brain and I didn't even remember it. And the next day I was singing, I'm doing, I'm like I'm faking it, I'm good, I got this. And then my song's about to be over, and the flow and just as he said, like took a huge, like it started to move, but just this big move lurchy jump thing. And physics. Right? I went the other way. And I was wearing these really tall shoes, so I couldn't like maneuver myself gracefully. And so the only thing that happened was I took this like gigantic, like as the widest as I could take, stepped all the way over to the side and like kind of batted up against like the little fence. There was a fence around me, around the tree house. So I fall this huge step over to the side and, and, I, and I'm being filmed and there's millions of people watching me and I'm like, how am I gonna, what am I gonna do? Whatever. Like I was thinking maybe I could like take another huge step over to the other side. To make, like, <laughs> So I see the kid, like he was where Allie is, and I'm like, I fling out my arm, and I'm like, look at this kid fireman on this ladder, America! And I'm still singing, and, and then they're like caught, and I'm like, what? And I'm leaning over, and they're like, all right, you're done. And they put me in a car, and drove me to my, my parents in Staten Island, where I was having Thanksgiving dinner. And I walked up, like, I was just like so tired and cold, and I'm like, maybe nobody noticed, maybe nobody noticed. You always say that about things. And then, I walk up the stairs and my mom's like, did you fall? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, awesome. And then I proceeded to read all the people on Twitter saying that my glasses were ridiculous and that I fell over it. It was a really fun, happy Thanksgiving for me. Happy Thanksgiving to me. But we're going to do this song now because I feel like I have to reclaim it from the, um, it wasn't actually a bad experience. I had a kid. It was, looking back on it, it was fun. And the fact that I get to tell the story is even more fun. And you can go on YouTube and see it. It's all right there. <laughs>